got a guest teacher this morning, Miss Yildiz. <laughs> Take a seat and I'd like to welcome you on this very rainy day and uh, taking a deep breath in through your nose and exhaling with a sigh and yeah it's 9.30 already maybe lots happening lots of quite dramatic weather this morning and uh, so we're just going to draw our awareness inside and settle ourselves and center ourselves and we might start to notice the internal distractions and the external distractions and we can be with all of those In space for everything and if a, if a sigh comes up that you want to kind of let everything slide away from you then just let that happen just breathing in through your nose opening your mouth and exhaling and if it's relatively new for you to be behind a computer um, practicing yoga, then give yourself space for that too. And feel yourself connected to something, maybe connected to the ground, maybe connected to the universe through the crown of your head, through the crown chakra. Find your centre of gravity by gently rocking your upper body back and forward and allow that to bring a breath. Maybe one way you bring a breath in and the other way you bring a breath out. And then something some place where you just settle there and everything seems to just feel comfortable you might notice a little lift up through your buttocks a little clench and if that's the case let those go let the cheeks and jaw be soft so that you can sit here and bring yourself into the session no matter what's going on in your body or mind. And then try to invite your breath to become a bit deeper and longer. So breathing in through your mouth, sorry, breathing in through your nose. And first of all, just breathing out through your mouth so that we can let go of any tensions. with a sigh remember unfortunately I can't hear those sighs from where I am but noticing if you can give yourself the space to let that sound come out and then maybe you change that breath so that you're breathing in through your nose and out through your nose so the way that we practice uh, when we're doing the postures or even when we're doing any uh, dirg pranayama the full yogic breath because we want to encourage the breath to be long and slow and there's a, a just a, a, an element of control even though i don't like that word there's an element of let's say guiding the breath in and guiding the breath out so you can guide it to be longer then you get to know how your breath is this morning. Whether there's space for it, whether it's feeling a bit pushed or contracted. And 
on the next two or three breaths just see if you can really expand the bottom of your ribs so you're really letting your diaphragm expand and the belly is expanding almost like you're breathing all the way down to your inner abdominal organs giving them a lovely good morning massage And then allowing your breath to come back to a more regular rhythm that there's no effort, no willfulness. And very slowly opening your eyes. Okay, so let's add some movement to the breath. Um, so turn your palms up, we'll stay sitting here for a moment. We're going to inhale up, arms overhead, you can bring them over your shoulders. And then exhale down so that your palms come, they can come and lay face down onto your knees. Inhale, lifting like you're lifting up all that lovely prana energy around you and you're sweeping it down into yourself, your energetic body. Let's do that two more times. Can the movement be as big as the breath? And exhale, emptying out all of the breath. The next time that our arms are up, let's hold our arms up, turn to the right side, and exhale, one arm goes down to the back, one arm goes down to the front. And then inhale, back up to centre and exhale, turn the other direction, opposite hand comes to the front, opposite hand comes to the back. And then we're going to continue through that movement a couple of times, inhale, it becomes a bit bigger, nice twist in the middle. So you can take one inhale to come up and one exhale to turn. Okay, and the next time that you're arms are up, let's uh, stop there and then exhale the arms down. Okay, and then um, actually let's just do something to tone our buttocks and uh, core to be honest. So we're going to go to the back of the mat and uh, feet are hip width apart. And we're going to walk with our buttocks. Um, so bring your arms out level in the, level with your shoulders. And first of all, we're going to step. I'll step the left side so you can see it. And the left arm and the left foot. Inhale, exhale, step the other side. Inhale, exhale and step. And we're going to continue like that right up to the other end of the mat you can make the steps as big as you want to and you can certainly make the stretches in your arm as big as you can that's going to help you to make those steps be careful not to squash any animals that might be practicing with you this morning and when you've got with your feet to the other end we're going to go backwards so let's start with the right arm and the leg and big big breaths Imagine we're working through our waist and lower back and our abdominal organs, toning our buttocks. Let's see if we can do it one time with alternate, um, so the left foot and the right arm. And then alternate and actually just notice the difference in that, almost like a marching. Perhaps it just tells us that we can go... <clears throat> 
we can be more mobile in that direction and also it gives us a bit of left brain and right brain to think about coordination so a bit more like um, an animal might move with the diagonals okay and when you get back just resting there and turn your bend your knees I'm just going to turn so that I can see you bring your hands next to your hips and we're just going to roll a little bit so we're going to roll onto our right side you can bring your toes up off the floor if that feels good you could make some circles de-stressing that big muscle there with that point right in the middle the acupressure point and go in the opposite direction one direction you might be able to just take in a little bit more of your sacrum bones okay and then bring your feet onto the ground and we're going to go to the other side so <sighs> feels quite nice eh? it feels a deep massage but we're the point right in the middle there or where it feels sometimes a bit sensitive when we do this is an uh, acupressure point that releases tension and then change direction if you didn't already And then bring your feet down to the ground great and then just give your knees a hug let your forehead rest onto your knees so you're stretching through your spine top of your back and then come roll yourself up to standing just change the angle And let's do a little bit of a self massage so we're going to bring our hands to our scalp and just dig in with our fingers and all the way around the back and you all familiar with this so even though it's familiar uh, always different you might be feeling different acupressure points around here different state of mind and when you don't forget around your ears lots of acupressure points there and just notice anywhere that just really enjoying that bit of a hair scrub and then let your arms rest down take your thumbs and bring them into the corners of your eyes the eye sockets and then lengthen lift up your spine back of your neck and as you exhale your head is slightly tipped forward so your thumbs are taking the weight there it's only a gentle press but it can be really clearing for your head uh, calming balancing it just makes me think i should be doing this a bit more often at the moment and you know that's often what's happened your, your body goes to things you might find yourself doing this anyway if you're just trying to get something done on the computer or reading or something like that or having to make decisions and you might just go to do this and we naturally kind of know our acupressure points in a way and then just release your hands down you might not feel it immediately it might be more of a an ongoing effect later in the day we're going to come to massage our cheeks and face and the bone there right in the middle pressing upwards towards that point there it's really nice for your digestive system but all of these muscles that can get tight we're going to just massage into that and get to know the muscles of our face and then land in the middle of your chin thumb and forefinger and squeeze from the inside squeezing to the outside three times and that for me that brings breath it makes me want to breathe a bit more great and let, let, let your arms go go down i think we'll stop there with the with the massage uh well let's just do a little bit of warming up on our kidneys Take your very soft fists and just tap the bottom of your ribs at the back. 
relax, affecting your voice box and your breathing so it's going to say hello to your diaphragm we've already said hello already we're just giving it a little bit of more of attention and then we could go down a bit more onto the muscles there and onto your hip bones and your sacrum And around any parts there that this kind of your hands and your intuition guide you to any areas that this would feel feel good all right and then releasing your hands down giving your hands a shake out all right so let's do some chopping wood some hara breath so remember we're going to inhale and as we exhale it's coming from here with a sound and letting go of any tensions or worries or thoughts, decisions, plans uh, that you want to get rid of. So we're going to bend our knees. You can't quite see my feet. The feet are hip width apart, uh, but keep your knees bent all the time. So we're going to inhale up. And as we exhale, we're going to just bring our hands together like we've got an axe in them. And then we're going to roll forward, exhale with an exhale. Ah, fingers can touch the ground. And then we're going to inhale all the way up. Maybe open your hands if that feels better. Close your hands together. Ah, add the breath. We're going to go a little bit faster. Make sure your knees are bent so your back's protected. Time. we're going to stay down fingers touch the floor and at that point just let your shoulders roll forward kind of your upper body weight is really like um, giving the stretch through your back and shoulders okay and from there can you turn so that you can step your feet apart just let you see my feet otherwise it's a shame and so our head's still forward we're going to walk to the right side take hold of the right ankle and let the left hip the opposite hip uh, go back so if you're looking at me it looks different on the screen it's like a mirror image but if you go to your right ankle and let the opposite hip go back feel the stretch through your waist through your shoulder see if you can not hold any tension in that top shoulder we're going to inhale and exhale around to the other side. Okay, then we're going to inhale and exhale back to the middle. See if you can turn your hands under so that you've, I'm looking at the front of your wrists and the back of your hand is on the floor. Palms are upwards and fingers facing back towards in the direction of your heel. So we're just stretching out the wrists there. Arms, you could straighten them to see what happens. There's more, more stretch than in your carpal tunnel area in your, in your wrists. And we're not going to stay there for very long. We're going to pick our hands up and just give them a shake. Okay, and then we're going to walk again around to our right foot and it, Actually, it's important this time that you do the same because we're coming into the triangle. So as you walk around to your right foot with your fingers, turn your right foot out. Your knee might be bent to start with and just lift up so that your hands are onto your knee. So you're in a kind of a, a low warrior pose, if you like, because your knee's bent. OK, from here, we're going to uh, bring the 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 opposite hand to the knee, so the back hand, if you like, onto your waist. And then we're going to stretch out the front arm, same as the leg, we're going to stretch that out to the front and straighten that leg. Okay, so you're, you can see me. And then just reach for the wall there, so feel that lovely stretch happening through your waist. Inhale and exhale and reach. Okay, the next time that you reach, stay there rotate the arm down so 
your legs are your solid base the palm can face outwards towards me and this part of your body it comes back so you're in if i, if I turn sideways you're in a, a flat plane to the side okay so your head and eyes can look straight forward if it feels good you can bring that top arm and you can stretch it up to the sky but you've also got the choice to just keep it on onto your waist so that you can Get your alignment in the lower half of your body or if you're familiar with the triangle so you can't see my top arm and then the, the stretch is from here so lengthening the spine so you you could feel that your spine and your neck were in a straight line we're going to come out of that in the same way that we went in so bring your arm back to your waist bend that front knee and then come with your hands down to the floor either side of your bent knee and then we're going to turn that foot towards the front and we're going to walk around to the opposite side. Okay, turning the foot out, the knees bent, so it's now it's the left foot, knees bent. And lifting yourself up, body in the direction of the front knee, back leg straight. Okay, bringing your back hand onto your waist and letting your front arm just stretch out towards the, the bent knee and then straighten that knee so it's this time it's your left arm and left leg that is straight and then we're going to reach for the wall so we're just telling asking our body to stretch through our lower back that's already a really great stretch for your whole body and then we're, we're just holding the stretch and then we'll rotate down so the arm comes down inside the knee the palm facing towards the same place as your face and that top shoulder is rotating back if it feels good you could lift that back arm up stretch the fingers away from each other and we take two full deep breaths into this stretch great and then exhale the back arm or the left the right arm comes down to waist and we're going to bend that knee again come with either, each hand to either side of the knee and then I'm going to walk around hands walking back into the middle so our both of our feet turn to face the front okay and in this position we're going to heels and toes back into the middle and just here we're going to do another forward bend actually I'll turn to the side it's easier to see uh, the Padangustasana where we put our hands underneath our toes so lift up the toes of your right foot and place your fingers underneath uh, if you're uh, well just bend your knees bend your knees until you can do that so the more you bend your knees the, the shorter the space you, you need to reach for and when you're there uh, place the, the left palm underneath the left foot making sure you can see me and then let your head roll forward so it's a stretch for upper back spine and at that point notice if you can lengthen your legs if you can stretch out your legs and at the same time there's a move upwards with your shoulders towards the sky so your arms are straightening and then you feel the stretch through your arms as well okay and then we bend our knees again take our fingers away give our fingers a shake and then coming back up so rolling yourself back up let's change the angle so you can see my head a bit more all right good i'm enjoying the stretch from from there okay um, let's do as a balance pose let's do the flying uh, triangle so you've got a block or two cushions because you might need a bit of height here um, or even a, a small box or something like that would work so go with this to where it feels safe um, 
you're in the comfort of your own home so you might have something squashy to fall on if you do overbalance so it's related to the last posture so we're going to take a big step to the side and turn your take your block and bring it to the edge of the right foot so it actually in front of the right foot and you you want um eventually we want our legs to be straight and we want our upper body to be in the same plane so that top shoulder moves back okay and then we lean we bend our front knee the knee that's close to the butt and we just reach for the block maybe that's enough today maybe that's your posture already again a great stretch through the waist if you want to go a step further you walk that back foot up a little bit so you can and you might have to maneuver your block or your cushions and you just start to lean your weight onto that block and you could start to point that back leg if that feels comfortable you could start to lift the black back leg and feel the support from your block underneath your hand lifting the back leg as far up as feels comfortable the standing leg it's not completely locked of course because that um, dynamic in your knee allows you to to maneuver and keep your balance if it feels comfortable you could take your top arm up unfortunately mine's chopped off and stretch that up towards the sky breathing in remember if you want to bring your foot back down to the ground and just be in that first stage of the balance absolutely great place to start inhale as you exhale bring your back foot down and hand to your waist and then take the weight back onto your back foot you could bring the block with you maybe it's not so easy if you're using two cushions okay and just pausing there for a moment and feeling feeling the the movement through your body some kind of opening and stretch and energy starting to move we're going to go to the other side so we bring the block on the outside or at the front of our left foot left leg bring your let's say your right hand onto your waist bend the front knee maneuver your block and then just start to stretch the back leg and put the weight onto your front foot and you might have a wall behind you so that could catch you if you're to wobble but keep breathing and if you do wobble just keep breathing perhaps building it again from the start if it feels good stretching that top arm up and looking with your face eyes straight forward so not necessarily put the ceiling or down at the floor but straight forward you could flex that leg that's stretched out you could point your toes and exhale coming back down okay so your hand rests on your waist and then you take the weight onto your back foot to lift you back up almost in slow motion out of that lovely stretch okay great so just pausing for a moment feeling that quite a, um, a strong stretch if you like in your whole body maybe a bit challenging which is always good challenges us out of our comfort zone let's come down to the child pose just to take a moment of restoration and surrender so tuck your chin onto your chest bend your knees roll your head down bend your knees and roll yourself onto the floor so hips back to your heels if there's not much space there for your belly then open your knees out and if it feels comfortable bring your forehead towards the ground and arms down by your side to lift up lifting your upper body up and coming back with your um, upper body upright